I actually think this was an effective version of shaky cam. Okay. Hmm. Uh, because bad shaky cam is uh, born supremacy where it's a static shot, but then it's just whipping around oh. and like, you're not really tracking the motion. This one, it's a shaky cam, but the camera operator is also aware of the choreography mm -hmm. and he whips between bodies and underneath arms. Um, oh so no, no, that's you're, not, cool. no, you're, you're aware. You're aware of the, geographic location of everyone in the scene when yes. they're in an action I'm scene. I'm just saying so I like to break it up a little bit. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it was well done. I think it was overdone. And I think we could have used a couple of just, whoop, you know, pull back so you can actually watch. I think the first half of the movie is less, the action in the first half of the movie is not nearly as good as the third act. Mm -hmm. Like it's almost like the movie learned how to be a better action movie as mm -hmm. it was going. Just like the, the main character. Would you? Young junk. <laughs> Oh, what's up to our sidekicks and henchfolk oh, out there in the on. Geek Nation? Were you actually flexing? No, he was oh, flexing his mind. Oh, I see you were doing... He was I flexing his, yeah. his brain. Nose, uh, uh, I was about to get a nosebleed from <laughs> trying to use my mental powers. <laughs> do, you ever, do, you ever, do you ever do this? No. Never. So that just makes your makes your arms like bigger because you're like, you're taking the fat, that's right? Actually, and you just lift You go to the store like that? That's yeah, more of like, <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever smell them? Just, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what's up to our sidekicks and henchfolk out there in the Geek Nation? You're currently tuning in to the action-packed... <laughs> uh cult pop podcast episode 71 legacy numbering uh, it says 872 <laughs> show where we yeah. talk about movies but also tv but also comics but also shaky cam action flicks and all the other things that scratch your nerdy dirty little itches we're coming to you live from manny Unk young chunk hq not yet Manny Young. From <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to you live <laughs> from Young <laughs> Junk. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you just flex, everything will be fine. Yeah. Uh, Young Junk HQ. Young Junk. Uh, bomb Young. ass production space <laughs> in uh, Philadelphia, PA. I'm your spiritual leader up to no good, JD of Johnny Destructo's Hero oh Complex, located at 4327 Main Street, Philadelphia, PA. It's a comic shop. Come by my shit. With me tonight to talk is Brian. Hey, was that come buy my shit like BY? Like come buy my shit or BUY? Like purchase. BU is it both? Is it cool. your shit? Like you I know you you purchased it for the shop, but it's not like it's it's other people's I'll shit. I'll tell you, it's the you shop's have, shit. Like you it's, you yeah, are come buy my shop shit. Like it's transactional. So like like it's there are there you are so many things in, in so that way. store yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. I oh, buy and then I think well if nobody buys this. Yes. Mine. I guess I'll just have to Mm -hmm. There's you a lot of stuff in the shop that's like that. But I, I think that is a, a valid point, and I am jealous of that. But uh, also, no, were you getting at more like the state of ownership? Like if you Basically. create a thing, in some way it is forever yours. Right? right? Yeah, 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 exa yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like it's, uh, we're talking about like a, you are a retailer of other people's intellectual property. Yeah. Yeah. And wow. some of your own. That's some There's of my own. There's a couple of books in there. That's true. Yep. Yeah. And, and That's what I've done. Don't you do so uh, t-shirts so that people can buy? Yeah. So I hear buy. you make arts and logos and stuff. I make arts and logos. Head yeah. portraits. Not That's unlike, right. uh, isn't there another podcast? Vincent Van Gogh. Has a oh. new logo? Yeah. Oh, I did. Uh, what oh. was that podcast called? Uh, you All up in your morgue, more. I think it's yeah. called. Yeah. 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 Up, up in the morgue. Uh, also with us tonight is Noel. Yeah. I, uh, and then Alice is joining us. Me, I don't know what camera to look at. Hi. Uh, <laughs> from from the Inside the Morgue podcast, Guns wherein Alice. they discuss uh, gross, creepy morgue stuff in relation to pop culture. And yeah, TV shows, movies, all that good stuff. And you have expertise in this field. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. you're not just somebody talking yeah, about no, morgue no, stuff. No, no, no. Yeah, I am <laughs> a forensic she technician. Works so yeah. yeah. I'm, I know a thing or two. Yeah. I don't just watch it. <laughs> I tell of these shows and be like, "This isn't right." I don't like, know about that. That's like somebody, I wouldn't know, but it feels like somebody obsessive about that. serial killers on a forum. Like yeah. I'm an investigator, <laughs> yeah, for cold cases. Thank Done you. my own research. Yeah, I do my, I, I, I do my own research. Am I allowed to say the thing about the jawbone? Uh, nothing happened with a jawbone. Don't even think about it. Uh, also in the booth is our trusty producer, Dylan the Great. Remember, if anything goes wrong. Dylan did it. Yeah, I, I lost my jawbone. I don't know where I was. <laughs> yeah. You talked surprisingly well. Sort yeah. Of. yeah, it took uh, a lot of training. But of please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, uh, and then email no. us at coldpopgo no, 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 no. at gmail.com. Don't feel free to. Just do it. Do oh, it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got to be more aggressive do. with it. Yeah. Stop what you're doing, and then like, comment, subscribe, and then hit the bell notification, you dummy. Stupid. Stupid idiot. Dumb. Uh -huh. Speaking of which, Robert Monroe Jr. is in the chat saying- That was- Good evening. 
speaking of stupid idiot dummies, <laughs> there, a loyal listener whom I have always enjoyed. Oh, no. JD. That's not what I meant. Speaking <laughs> of stupid shits. <laughs> Hey. Then, you know, when oh, I think about shit. people that make me feel dumber, it's Robert yeah, yeah, Monroe Jr. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he's in the chat saying making something, us all stupid. Yeah, saying something dumb, I'm sure. Good evening, <laughs> cold poppers. My daughter and I are planning on seeing Monkey Man tomorrow. Nice. You know who's not nice. stupid? His daughter. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. I'm sure she's awesome. Uh, and Chris says, Monkey Man was fine. I had to see it a second time because mm. the seats at AMC are too comfortable <laughs> and I didn't get enough sleep. Honestly, uh, I wish it had been on TV versus a movie, a miniseries. Mm. Uh, it might be cool. Um, and are we going to review Late Night with the Devil at some point? Uh, uh, it will drop on Shudder later this month. So, yeah, at the very least, JD and I will probably talk about mm. it. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to watch Wouldn't it. You, you also, okay, yeah, yeah we'll remember. talk about it. Nice. Uh, anyway, um, now is the time when I take us into the second part of the show which is a segment i like to call what you've up to B. this week huh yep. and i'm gonna throw it to brian hey what you been up to this week huh i'll tell oh. you jd i was oh. watching uh star trek discovery uh -huh. I've season heard of five <clears throat> and uh this is sort of unexpectedly to them i've heard and unfortunately the final season of this show oh. um uh, they yes. got to film an ending yes they did they so and apparently a lot of times, cool. all I yeah, ask. Yeah. a lot yeah. of times when that happens and it, you know, yeah. they don't, it's a cliffhanger and never, they got an ending. It's an ending. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, is it over yet? No. Oh no, it just it's, started. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, mm. was, so they had yeah. <laughs> apparently two episodes were dropped and I only knew about one of them. And then I found out and I was like, ah, I got a second episode. So I've watched both of them now. Um, I like delighted Brian. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. It, delights it delights me. me. My, <laughs> my, my brain works totally differently because I just presume to get to like the, not the point. Your points are beautiful. Thank I'm you. talking about like the extra details that happen in my brain that I don't vocalize. Yeah, yeah. You vocalize. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like uh, I caught the first one. Didn't know there was a second one. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or just like I caught the first of two. I wouldn't you know, think to like, Go through the the, the cycle, process? which is that's why it's cute. oh, and like here's why here's how it went down. That's how Let it's me cute. Bring yeah. you in, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, so I had a teacher once who said, okay, I, <laughs> "That's my fault. That's my fault. Yeah. That's my fault." <laughs> hey, just so you know, we're going long tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, what football guys always scream out, we're gonna do it so much better. Audible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can hear the whole thing. So I was watching Star Trek Discovery episodes one and two. Yes. Wow. Uh, which I hadn't known previously. Didn't know it was two episodes, but there were two. Yeah. That's exciting. Right? Yeah, it was more Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, it was like a, roughly twice as much. I don't know the number, the minutes. Wait, what, I was <laughs> going to say, what's the, yeah. the runtime of each episode? Yeah. Don't do that. It's how is the show? <laughs> oh, it's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was uh, really excited, and it was, and I was happy with it. Um, Discovery has been great. They jumped to the far future ah, several wait, seasons wait, ago. The, I was, I was going to say again at the okay. end of episode, no, no, no. at the end of season two. Season two, yeah. Yeah. So they've been in the far future. I love to see far, far future stuff, you know, and mm -hmm. extrapolations the even of even of future futures. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, so I love it. Um, and Star Trek has long been something that does that right. Next Generation was set a century or more after uh, the original series. right? So it was very cool. They referenced a Next Generation episode, which I have oh. always loved. And is that um, what everyone's upset about online? I don't know what they could be. It could be. Anything. I think people are upset about online because they <laughs> referenced something that next gen was like, Oh, so done with apparently, uh, some mm. people don't like this episode because the science of it isn't necessarily something that works with our understanding of science. Oh, um, science fiction is not right. Listen, I like when science fiction is science fact. Yeah. I mean, hard sci-fi, yes, yeah. so do I. Man, Not high concept, if we could have teleport, concept. teleportation. concept yeah. Barely concept. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, every day is science fiction to you. <laughs> so. I mean, are you sharing pictures of, like, the eclipse where, like, it's a, fall, it's a fraud yeah. or something? Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. you, that's, yeah. your, that's your Facebook feed? <laughs> um, so I love this episode. I love the, like, uh, the moral ending of this episode and, like, stuff that happens in it. The genetics background some people seem to think is unlikely whatever um have you ever watched this show alice no do you watch like, have any you ever star watched trek? a star trek yeah. That's i'm not a huge oh, on star okay. trek i've right. probably seen it here and there so my my wife uh sam trekkie uh mm. hates well, not hates 
Bones. doesn't care at all about Star Trek. Mm-hmm. Oh. We started Discovery together, the newer right. one. Mm-hmm. She yeah. loves it. It's serialized. Okay. It's 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 an entry point. It calls back to other stuff, but oh, it's yeah. still its own thing. Yeah, it calls back it in a way that you really don't need to know anything about. Nope. Mm-hmm. To the extent, actually, that a lot of fans were like, this doesn't fit into canon, you know, yeah, which some it's fine. It does. It. Um, I have a closer reference even me um, because <laughs> I, never, right here. I never cared about Star Trek either. But then because of Discovery, that that was my entry point. Yeah, I feel like I just missed it. Like it just hmm. was it's back. like it comes around. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I feel like I just I don't know why I just never got into it. But I feel like it's yeah. everything I'd like. Discovery so. is, is the yeah, one I like. Yeah. It's yeah. Really Discovery's good. fun, and then that yeah. and Strange New yeah. Worlds and is so yeah, great. Strange New Worlds is amazing. A little more traditional. Star Trek is usually very episodic, mm-hmm. and it tells you know moral tales, morality plays, um, and then they're done. And like it'll reference its deep canon, but. Um, you know, usually they're self-contained. Discovery is not like that. It's like a whole season and it's very cool in its own way. They also referenced, uh, which I was going to bring up anyway, they referenced this, uh, this Promelians, right? These aliens that, and I thought that this was a really cool fact that it was a reference. So they were mentioned in one episode of Next Gen, a Promelian battle cruiser, right? Mm. And uh, I don't know if you guys have heard, but on in Star Wars, when they were writing the novels, uh, there was a guideline like not every planet is Alderaan. Mm-hmm. You need to go to other places, right? It makes the universe too small. And this is sometimes a common complaint nowadays, right? The universe is too small because mm-hmm. we keep Wait. referencing the same thing. Yeah. Nine movies about one bloodline is too much, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, okay. they had only made three at that point. <laughs> to be fair to them, I guess. But, I mean, yeah. to be fair to the concept of make it bigger, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and nowadays people say, you know, like, oh, why does everything have to be tied in, right? But... Uh, I was thinking this morning, Picard mentions they find this old Promelian battle cruiser, and he was like, oh, it's like a ship in a bottle. I think I even had a Promelian battle cruiser, right? Like when I was a kid. And I thought, oh, that's cool. This is actually something that we've never seen again that we should see, mm-hmm. right? It's like well known enough that he had one when he was a kid. So it makes perfect sense that it would be like, oh, yeah, we ran into another old Promelian thing. Yeah, yeah. What are yeah. the names? What are the names off topic, but on topic? Mm-hmm. What are the names of the aliens in. Strange new worlds that are the lizard people. The Gorn. Gorn, thank yeah. you. Okay. Because they're doing something like that with them, where it's like the Gorn are have only been se- like the first time you saw them yeah. was in the original series. And they've been creating all these like little flashpoints from before to, like, that. Dance around that a little yeah. because they specifically said we've never seen a Gorn before mm-hmm. in the original series. But they've also got a lot of time travel in Star Trek and things change. And they even addressed that recently because there was some stuff. Uh, there was a eugenics war in the 1990s. I don't know if you guys remember that, but um, it played out differently we, in hey, our timeline. We all made it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, we're here. So they like adjusted it recently on Strange New Worlds, where they're like, "Yeah, something kind of stopped that from happening back then, but time is always resetting itself, so it's still happening." Which I thought was a cool way to say like. We're not going to pretend that our timelines were different yeah. since the 1960s now. We're going to pretend they're different from now. Would you recommend Discovery as a whole? And for those that have watched some of Discovery, would you recommend continuing season five? Because I fell oh, off. Absolutely. I know you mm-hmm. did. And um, Michelle Yeoh is a big you're a big fan of hers. She's getting her own movie, Section 31. Done, is it actually coming? Done it's filming. It's like done filming, I think. Ah, yes. nice. Wow. Cool. And uh, she also shows up in more of Discovery than you have watched. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. That's all I need. And uh, yeah, in. It's, I'm in. It's great. It's really good. Um, she does leave eventually because she's doing this thing. Um, this there a apparently a Starfleet Academy show is in the works, which is set in this far, far future, the is, 32nd uh, century. Is uh, Redhead going to be? I assume she so. She better be a main she's character. she's teaching the there. No. What redhead uh, with the hot. thing? She does not the hot have the redhead thing. with like an eye thing. This, this redhead is also. Attractive. This is a hot redhead All who does not have an eye thing. She has regular eyes. She's, <laughs> she's regular. Very, very, she's very very smart. What do you mean by regular? Cool. Betty yeah. Davis. Yeah, <laughs> regular eyes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, there's oh, pretty much from that. She's the teaching there now uh, in continuity. So I assume that yeah, that will be the case. Uh, David Cronenberg is a recurring character. Yeah, I love that. He's amazing as this like the highest level Starfleet intelligence agent um, who's paid like to be cryptic weird. and awesome. Yeah, he's just getting paid yeah. to be weird, and that's fine. Yeah. And he wears glasses because he thinks they're cool. They don't need glasses <laughs> yeah. in the 32nd century. <laughs> yeah. He just but likes them. Meanwhile, Cronenberg himself is probably just like, I, I need my glasses fucking right around it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, hey, Noel. 
Yeah. What have you been up to this week, huh? Um, well, I couldn't think of what to talk about, so I'm going to talk about something that I watched that I don't think anybody else is interested in. Uh, interested in. Uh, I, Reacher on Prime. Prime Video. Never heard it. Amazon mm-hmm. Prime. I watched the, the streaming service. Oh, Reacher. Like oh, Jack I've heard Reacher. of Amazon Prime, yes. yes, yes. Uh, yeah. The, the mm-hmm. television, yes. The <laughs> television the adaptation of the novels about right. the character of Jack Reacher starring Alan Richson, hmm. um, who I'm mildly obsessed with just because I, I read a really good var- variety article uh, interview that with Hawk? him. Yeah. Hawk and Dove. Also, he, Aquaman he's in Smallville. He, oh my God. Yeah. He works with, he deals with uh, bipolar and ADHD and all kinds of stuff. And has, like, he's just a good dude and seems pretty cool. But, um, the, the show Reacher is, um, trash. Hmm. Yeah. But not garbage. Not garbage. Not garbage. No. Garbage it is, is wet, Alice. Oh, trash okay. Is yeah, yeah, trash is good. We discussed this. Trash <laughs> is trash is good, like a <laughs> like yeah. like fast food. Oh, okay. Garbage trash. is like stinky and literal. Wet. Like fast food, literal literal piece trash of garbage. Gotcha. Don't touch yeah. it. It smells bad, right? Okay. This is trash. Up to speed. This is wonderful. I, this is a uh, this show is like uh, a two a.m. trip to Taco Bell. This Wait, show is amazing. I think I because I think last time I was here, I said I watched trash television, and yes. I meant it like good, yes. like yeah, I great. loved it. Did yes. we not discuss this at the no, time? No, we, we didn't. usually do. No, <laughs> yeah, it's, it comes it's up a, a lot. Yeah. It's yeah. reoccurring. <laughs> trash is a positive. The uh, show yeah, is that's trash. how I meant it. Um, <laughs> he uh, in the first season, the whole season, ten episodes. It is one case where he's trying to solve the mystery of his murdered brother. Mm. He is a ne'er do well former special ops investigator doesn't carry anything other than the money in his pocket and the clothes on his back and just like like a force of nature rolls <laughs> through a town and sees wrongs, writes them. Sounds like a real Mary Sue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> Actually, he is. He's a Mary Sue. <laughs> um, it's very wonderful. Uh, the new season started a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, but I just now started getting into it. It's the same fun trashiness. I like this is such a comfortable show. Oh, fun. Like if you just like fun action. Cool. It's good. Nice. Yeah. Reacher on Amazon Prime, two seasons now. It is it it doesn't ask for anything more than you have on you. <laughs> See, you know, I get that. And I need that clothes sometimes. on your back. Yeah. You it, just watch this. They just want to leave you naked and it destitute. is not a challenging Empty show. Your pockets. It's, yeah. it's not a challenging show, but it's also not stupid. Yeah. Cool. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's yeah. just fun. It's an it's easy just, watch. It's a it's a very yeah. easy, enjoyable watch. Also, it gets real violent at times. Oh, I love that kind of thing. Yeah, you you know, like he breaks bones really well. That's it's cool. good. It's a good show. Yeah. Yeah. Like very cleanly, or he just is good yeah. at breaking. Well, if you've ever seen the actor, he's yeah. like seventeen feet the tall and then ah. sixteen feet wide. Much like bigger he's than a Tom very Cruise, big strong guy. Who previously? Did you ever see Optimus Prime? Optimus Prime? He basically is Optimus Prime. Prime. He is he's, he's basically Optimus Prime, Prime. Yeah. but he stays um, human the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's really it's it's this weird visual film language with him in a scene where he does something that is a feat of strength that you're like probably not. But hmm. then, like, you'll see him in interviews, and you're like, oh, no, he fucking did that. Yeah. Oh. Like, just ripped, yeah. uh, what is it, the zip ties? Like, oh, yeah. Handcuffs. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, in the show, he just like, and just takes them off yeah. when they allow him to leave. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, no, I did that. And they sh- he actually Ow. did it. Like, it's just so <laughs> weird. Like, oh, he'd be... Punches a window open. And you're like, in most shows, he would break his hand. I'm like, I don't know. I think he may, he may have been able to do that. Yeah. 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 I like the just idea. The, the, the language of the guy. show is so ridiculous yeah. that you're just like into it. Yeah. Well, I was thinking of the prop guy is like continually amazed. He's like, yeah. but those were the real ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Every have episode. the fake window over here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't put it through yet. the wrong window. I had this a fake head for you to crush. You didn't have to murder that you man. Guy. Yeah, this extra is dead. It's fine. He's union. He wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a really really fun nice. trashy show, nice. and I I I I love it. It's wonderful. Yeah. Alice, what you been up to this week, huh? I have been watching Dimension 20 on Dropout TV, which for anyone that doesn't know is a is a D&D show. It's like on Dropout TV, which is a college humor thing. So the YouTube it's on Dropout TV, the website, oh, um, but you can also see some of the episodes on YouTube. Okay. But like if you want to watch all the seasons, it's on Dropout TV, gotcha. which uh, my okay. siblings yeah. and I have a shared account because we're Do all they obsessed. Have apps for it. I think they do. Things yeah, like they do. Get it's like a yeah. and stuff. It's what? You pay for it. It's a streaming service. Yeah, it's a streaming service. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, and you can watch other College Humor stuff on there. It's not just D&D stuff. That's just mostly what I use it for. Hmm. But um, so, yeah, it's a really fun D&D show. And they're on the third season of Fantasy High, which is one of their campaigns. But they have a million other campaigns yeah. that are, like, different types of interests that you might have. Like, there's one that's loosely based off Lord of the Rings, but from the point of view of the villains. So they're all playing as different villains trying to catch High a halfling. High Fantasy. High fantasy. High fantasy. Yes. We've also talked about this at length. Yes. So <laughs> yes. this one's called Fantasy High. They're basically all playing 
high schoolers who are going to like an adventuring academy. Ugh, too many. And, but it's That's so cute. so good. Nice. And the, so they're in their junior year now, and just the way the DM organizes the DM is Brendan Lee Mulligan, and the way he like just creates. He like he's so good at world building, and it's just so much fun. And this year they have so much more money because they like the show took off after their first year, and the set designs are like they have the little miniatures and little sets for each fight and they're insanely oh, cool. cool do they like move them around yeah so it's like it is a podcast you can listen to it they mm -hmm. do have some on like spotify i've listened to some seasons but it's you have to watch it because like some of the fight scenes are so insane the other the 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 dm this guy brandon lee mulligan yeah um i enjoy show? him on that other show He's in that's on dropout tv game changers thank game you changers. game changers oh, that's he's hilarious yeah, also, game changer. He's known the, for his monologues. Yes. Mm. Very one funny of the monologues. Other, one of the other, I, I don't know if you can hear the horn, but that's great. Yeah, there was One of the other lot. regulars, actually, he's a regular on Game Changers also. Zach Oyama, he's but my favorite. <laughs> one of the regulars on Game Changers is Josh Rubin. Yes, he's so, oh my God, they have his spinoff with the three of them called Make Some Noise. Jesus Christ. That's so funny because they're all like sound guys and they oh. just have to make different ridiculous noises. Mm. One of them is they had to do the sound of what it would be like if there's a thousand Batmans in one room. <laughs> and Josh Rubin, <laughs> Josh Rubin did it so, it was so funny. Like so, by yeah. himself? Yeah. That's so like, impressive. I think, I think Josh, I Josh Rubin, no, hang on. Josh Rubin right. though is also the writer director of Werewolves Within, oh. Scare Me, um, some other movies. Like he's like, He's kind of in horror. That's cool. Also, yeah. he's nice. a writer director that improv yeah. as well as like horror movies. I think a lot he's of really them cool. are like writers, actors, yeah. comedians. They all do other things within the college humor, like universe. They do skits yeah. and stuff. They write. I love them all. Zach Oyama is one of my favorites. Ali Beardsley, they're amazing. So the there's... college humor dropout is like they're still associated with college humor. Yes. This is okay. Yeah, gotcha. I'm pretty sure. Mm. It's just like a subset, I believe. I um, but yeah, it's dropout.tv. My friend Jess had recommended another podcast to me because I've been enjoying Adventure Zone. Yes. Um, and she said, if you want something like that, that the storytelling is really, really good, not as strong on the humor, um, Worlds Beyond? I've heard of it. I haven't is listened that to Brandon it. Is Lee Mugg Mulligan as well? I don't know. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. I've only gotcha. really ever watched Dimension 20. I have listened to some Adventure Zone with my brother, it's so and it's so funny. It and does, the, is great. it the McElroy? Yes. The that McElroy is family the is, McElroy. The, they're well, I love it when they, in a season of Dimension 20 called Tiny Heist, which is uh -huh. a quick one shot. They call it a side quest, but it's like a one shot campaign that's only six episodes. And it is they're him. in it with their dad too, and it's yeah, so funny. I love it. it's it's the three brothers so and their dad. Funny. That's it's awesome. really cute. Yeah. And they're, they're, uh, it's it's annoying huh. how f quick they are. How that's how yeah. hilariously yeah. fast they that are. That would piss me off. Right. That's how Dimension Twenty <laughs> is too. Like you got to keep up with like they're so good at yes anding each other yeah. and just. Hmm. And Brennan is so good at like letting them do their crazy stuff, but he holds them to it. Yeah. So like if they <laughs> yeah. Hmm. He's nice. gonna be like, hey, remember that thing that you made canon in season one? Uh, you still have to do coming that. Back. It's yeah. coming back. Well, I like that. Yeah, it's, I like that. Yeah. it's yeah. great. It's really good. Uh, I have been up to. I just been X Men ninety seven ing. I did a little of that earlier today. Oh. I'm I'm all yeah. seven, I'm all ninety seven up. Yeah, are you? Me too. Um, I'm ninety eighted. Um, so I, this year, morning, I don't, understand. I don't, um, I don't believe is you. season two is gonna be X Men ninety eight. That's a good question. I don't know. He yeah. doesn't know either. Jesus um, Christ. So yeah. X-Men really caused the story. stumped us. <laughs> Everyone's um, broken now. X-Men 97. We're going short tonight. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> I got up this morning and on Twitter, uh, I saw multiple people say, mm -hmm. get off the internet mm -hmm. until you see X-Men 97 before people you spoil it for show. you. No. Right. Uh, I'm sorry. And so I, I, I did. Don't apologize. Um, well, well. And I did not get spoiled for X-Men 97. This is episode five. Five. Yeah. All right. So a little bit of background. I never cared about the X-Men 90s cartoon. Right, right. X-Men 92 yeah. to 96, right? Uh, I, I tried it when I was a kid, uh, and I thought the animation was terrible, especially when there was things like Batman animated series happening, which was like breaking mm -hmm. ground. True. Uh, and so I, I even so as an adult... Literally was breaking ground. They built... Yeah. In, the the yeah. in the Catskills, yeah. the Catskills. Um, <laughs> and then when it. 97 was about ground. to come out, I was like, you know what, let me try... X -Men, the original and I, I could I get I couldn't get it's through the whole episode. We've we talked about it um yeah. a couple episodes ago. Uh there's also a wonderful TikTok about it. Uh if you don't follow our social feeds or the Young Trunk social feed, you should do that. Sorry, yeah, us. You definitely should. Um but yeah. this ep th this show Ooh. gets better and better as it goes. Yeah, but it also maintains just the most um what's the word I want to uh, uh 90s-ish? Melodramatic yeah. dialogue. Yeah. Uh it is very what are the daytime talk show? The daytime shows. Soap, soap opera. opera. Yeah. It's so soap, soap opera. -y. Um, 
Um, it's at soap operatic. Soap yes. operatic. Yeah. Um, it's comic books, man. But goddamn, if, is this not uh, good? And like this new episode was the best one yet, even though I thought the second one was going to be the no. best of the season. You were right but, at the time. I was. So, <laughs> so two things, t- without spoiling anything, two things I want to mention about this show, this episode. Mm. One, it canonized the creepy, creepy grooming of Magneto. Yes. He's an adult in that, though. <laughs> Which she always looks, looks exactly the same as she yeah, does but in the like, modern time. It goes from her being trained by her mother. Yeah, yeah. And, to, Magneto. And to, to Magneto. And the, yeah. the, the visualization of it yeah. is pure grooming. Even if she's over 18. Oh, that's funny. When I Delta, saw it, I was like, oh, she Delta, looks exactly the same. That thing we talked about, it was fine. The Delta eight of between the ages and his like power yes. over, like literally a power dynamic of him being her teacher. Doesn't matter. It's grooming. Just like helping it's out. a little. They, if, <laughs> they fell in love. <laughs> it's weird. No, and they didn't fall in love. He, she just could touch him, and she was. That was another part. power he had over. Yeah. It's not cool. You can't touch other people. I don't yeah, know yeah, you know yeah. I know. Okay, yeah. I know the basics of X Men. I just haven't watched was, the series. It was, yeah. it was creepy to me. Okay. No, okay. No, no, no. Um, and then the second thing is of uh, the creator uh, or the the showrunner, the former showrunner, oh. mentioned specifically at like in an interview that he wants this show to be to feel like two things. Because the audiences are pre-9-11 and post-9-11. So the first five episodes are mm. nostalgic for that older audience that yeah. remembers mm. the old show and what it was like and the language of that old show. Yeah. And then something's going to happen. Oh. That will yes. change the dynamic of the show without changing the show, but change the dynamic right, of the right. show that now you have a different perspective on yeah. this ah. world. Interesting. So this was that midpoint where yeah, it's like, it holy shit. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what I thought because I had heard I can actually the spoiler a thing. Quote. A friend of mine actually said something Dancing which I it. thought might Dancing have been it. it, but then, um, but then turned out to be very very minor. It was just about like oh you see this thing right yeah yeah. And then there were multiple times within this episode that I was like yeah oh that must have been that's this the thing. thing. I right? thought we were just yeah. doing the show mm-hmm. or like the the show was doing something very specific that happens in the comic. Oh, the the island that happens to the island of Genosha. Yeah. I thought that that was gonna be it. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> uh, there's yeah. more. There was and more. Then, and also it's, an it's appearance like, of a certain character that you barely see. What was that? Oh yeah. I saw it as the Watcher. My gonna, that was, that was the, the Watcher. Watcher. The Watcher. Oh, yeah. it, was wa- it happened so quick. I was like, is that Professor Xavier? Is gone. He was a Watu. It was a uh, Watu. It's a big event. Oh, was that a? Oh. I don't spoiler know. Alert. We no. said it though. Oh, oh, I mean, as it turns out, that was actually not. It's not a spoiler. It's not really a big part of the episode. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't really do anything, right? Yeah. He's the watcher. He watched. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. And man. I wonder if this it'll was... be the same watcher as, as well. if we ever see the watcher again. Right. Jeffrey, if it'll be uh, Jeffrey, not Jeffrey Rush. No. Jeffrey Rush. Sorry, I'm crazy. It's that guy that know, we all think he's great. Actual... Uh, yeah. Jeffrey. He's Commissioner Gordon in Jeffrey... the Batman. Right. Movie. Jeffrey Wright. Oh, Jeffrey Wright. Oh, yes. Jeffrey Wright. Um, and then Christopher says, uh, yeah, X-Men wasn't great compared to Spider-Man from the same time. Yeah. Oh, Spider-Man. I was, I was yeah. big into the Spider-Man show. Yeah, that was awesome. Not the X-Men show. but Wait, even you the like sp- Spider-Man? Yeah. I, I know. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Spoiler alert. He's into Spider-Man. Um, uh, oh. Yeah, but even Spider-Man goes off the rails after a while. When he goes to the other universes? Is that the one with the... The meme? No, oh, the, that's no, an older no, that's one. Okay. Actually, yeah. here's, here's the actual quote from Bo DiMeo. Sorry. Um, who got fired from the show in her life. Oh, I didn't know that. My That's plan funny. was the first half of the season is the OG audience's pre-9-11 days, rife with the nostalgia and comfort, then 9-11, like Tulsa and other mass tragedies, turned the world upside down and reminded us that the whole world is unsafe. Mm. So this is mm. a turning point for the whole show, which I thought yeah. was really cool. It is kind of cool. It yeah. was this really was cool. Great. And like it the does animation seem to be what everybody is good. does or did when the reboot stuff started was like, what if something went real wrong? <laughs> you know? But they... It was it was intentional and calculated oh, yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. from the comics. Yeah. And from yeah, the comics. Just continuing. I mean, oh, I thought the episode was awesome. I was yeah. just yeah. saying like that happened a lot. Yeah. 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 I, to your point though, yeah. I think it like other times it's not done very well. That's I true. think it would be That's reductive true. to apply the same logic to this one because it was done very well. So it's like it's like reductive hmm. to just say like they're always darkening up those remakes. Like yeah. right, mm. you know what I mean? Like this is an example of I think it working really well. Oh, yeah. Especially it was well done. The, the, the original of, show, from what I understand, like dealt with dark themes as well. Dark Phoenix it's got darker. <laughs> I mean, Dark Phoenix. Quite literally, uh, uh, Professor Xavier well, Professor literally, Xavier literally got was murdered. Shot and killed, yeah, or left. Or to was go he? To the dun, dun, dun. 
uh yeah but yeah th- oh and i just the way they animated and um brought in nightcrawler oh it was awesome he was delightful that was actually the thing that i had heard and i was like ah, i rather would not have known that oh, but shit. there was so many Spoiler but you alert. still enjoyed it with no no, no, no. Like this... it turned out that that was just like oh you see a lot of cameo stuff yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh there was a, a, yeah, lo- yeah. a lot of cameos yeah. a lot of new x-men a lot of like new yeah. academy characters yeah. 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 it was really cool yeah gloop. highly recommend fucking gloop is in the background my well, dude like no he yeah he's in like nine scenes they keep showing gloop. P- uh, yeah, Pixie. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot a of like, them, yeah. there's a lot what, of older little characters. floating guy. <laughs> he's the, no, big he's the big gelatin big dude with, with like the floating eyes. Floating eyes. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Great. yeah, that's like a Grant Morrison. Sounds like he'd be named Gloop. Yeah, yeah. He sounds right? like a really it looks good exactly name. like a Gloop. And, uh, I, that's what I was picturing when you said Gloop. Some people are like, you don't look like an Alice. Like he looks like a Gloop. He he was named. Do I look like a Gloop or an Alice? You're more Alice than Gloop. Okay, thank you. That's what I'm going for. In that direction. Thank you. Funnily enough, he was named Gloop before his mutation manifested. Yeah, yeah, that was his birth given name. Really strange. Gloop Johnson. Kind of like how Scar in the Lion King was he called Scar before the Scar. Before the scar right? or after? Probably. Why do you guys keep calling me that? <laughs> Stop it. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna jinx yeah. it. He, he did it to himself just so there would be a reason. You're like, yeah. listen. Yeah. Like, he just wanted a cool nickname. Yeah. <laughs> so he made call characters. me Scar. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's move on Real to the main passionate. topic of tonight, which is the film that just released this past week called Monkey, Monkey Man, directed by Dev Patel, starring Dev Patel. Written by Dev Patel. Co written by Dev Patel. Co written, but yeah. Mm-hmm. A young man ekes out a meager living in an underground fight club where, night after night, wearing a gorilla mask, he's beaten bloody no. by more popular fighters for cash. After years of suppressed rage, he discovers a way to infiltrate the enclave of the Ooh. city's sinister elite as his childhood trauma boils over. Huh. His mysteriously scarred hands unleash an explosive campaign of retribution to settle the score <laughs> with the men who took everything from him. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, three, we all three of well, the four of us three saw of this the movie. Four of us saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, did you not see? I didn't. No. I did not have a chance. Uh, but, things but, were going on. But spoilers are going to happen for sure. And not until we tell you. Not until we tell you. And, we'll, tell you and we'll ask you questions. And you I'm you not can ask questions. I thought and you as Bart Simpson care. said, "God schmad, I want my monkey man." There you go. <laughs> I thought you were making fun that of me because I we oh, missed the beginning. It. Oh no, no, no. Uh, 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 okay, yeah, actually, yeah, that's just about four. Um, only three people have seen this movie. Only one person I've sitting here has seen the entire. whole movie. Yeah. Uh, oh, one of us read about it on Wikipedia after she saw it. I didn't even do that. So. <laughs> you didn't even read about it. I did not read about did it. Did you read about it? No, I didn't want oh. to spoilers oh, right, until yeah. this show. Until now, <laughs> I, I wanted Which to hear it from you guys. Not yes. now, not yeah, now. Not yet. Yeah, so we'll tell you when spoilers start. Yeah. Um, what did you think about this movie, Jay? Me? Yeah, you. Uh, all right. So broad strokes without giving anything away. It was a blast. Uh, I saw, you know, there's been a lot of, um, in the same way that the matrix had sort of, um, changed the landscape of action movies forever. Hmm. Uh, I think that the John wick films have really done, I don't want to say damage, but no, they, it's they damage. Have, I think it's damage. They've done some hmm. damage to the action, uh, genre. Um, I love those movies. Uh, but Everything that has come out since has been like trying to do John Wick a little bit. Uh, and I feel like this does that, but is also really effective at it. No, I think it's an audience problem. Oh, tell me more. I think that audiences are comparing everything to John Wick when they should not be compared to John oh, Wick. Oh, I this is okay. not, This is not. You don't think that this was Wickian? No, no I don't. Is I it, think this, this is my fault. No, I think that this. I'm, a, I'm the wrong one. This is not Wick okay, at no. all. Like this, this is more comparative to the Bourne movies. This is more comparative to um, Korean the action movies. movies. Absolutely. The, the Jason Bourne movies, the first huh. to three. Absolutely. Huh. This is much more single guy, shaky cam, uh, less balletic. Mm. And mm. and in your face, then the incredibly well choreographed, neon hued, cartoonish nature and st- structure of the John Wick movies. Yeah. Okay. This is not. I don't think this is a John Wick ripoff whatsoever in any way, shape, or form. Mm. I think they at least shape and John, form. They but maybe not fun way. of John Wick in mm. this movie. Yeah. 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 So they like, bring it up, but that doesn't mean, mm-hmm. that doesn't negate that it might also. I, I don't think it's John Wick comparison. That's fair. Yeah. You don't have to. Um, but anyway, really. uh, I'm correct. Although, I mean, I still liked it. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I do have some issues with things, but uh, again, those are just action movie tropes that I kind of like stopped me in my tracks a little bit. But um, 
I also think some of the action could have been better um, filmed, um, like the, the, the sets, the setups. What about you? I, I was sitting there watching this movie that I came like 10 minutes late to, and <laughs> I was thinking the whole time, I was like, damn, these guys get me to watch movies that I don't think I'm going to like, and I end up really enjoying. Ah, and I was like, because I, I wasn't Welcome. sure I was going to like it. Like, it just, not that I didn't think I was going to. Until the day we don't. Until the <laughs> Until... day we don't. And then maybe yeah. after that. And then, yeah. and then off again. <laughs> yeah. Maybe back on. So far, it's been good. Yeah. But yeah, like Tenet, I didn't think I was going to enjoy it. Uh, I really yeah. enjoyed Tenet. Man, and I, this, uh, I had a really fun time with. I thought it was a lot of too. fun. Two. Two. Nice. two for two, two so out of two. Yeah. two. That's great. It's hundred percent. I'm not counting Saltburn because I made you guys watch that. That was my idea. Oh, that yeah, was I mean, really good. <laughs> you're one for one because I enjoyed the yeah. experience. Yeah. 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 I mean, and that guy I was in it. I don't ever want to again. <laughs> the guy but. that played uh, older Loki. Yeah, the yeah. oh yes, yeah, Grant. Yeah, from the Grant was in it. Yes, right. from the little old Empire. Loki was in it. I don't know yeah, if you guys knew that. Also, Alligator Loki was in it. When Loki. And, Loki. Yeah, yeah. and there uh, was rocks. Now, are you are you an, an an action gal? Do you like action films? Sometimes I don't always seek them out. Like mm. I don't always seek them out to like, oh, I have to see this in theaters. Like I'll watch it at home later when oh, it comes sure. to streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like when you're like, oh, we're going to see Monkey Man in theaters. I was like, OK, like wouldn't have sought this one out, but like I'll give it a shot. Yeah. I like Def Patel. And can I can I ask a question? Because yeah. we're learning. We're learning about each other right now. Yeah, I'm so scared. What's your favorite action movie? If you if you even could like. Pull that. I know, like, I hate those questions. I hate those questions because usually there's like five answers and or it's a little on the spot. Think about it. What's your, when you think about like, oh, it's yeah. such a good action movie and I will uh, instinctively compare others to it. Vampire's Kiss. <laughs> or whatever the movie you mentioned earlier was. So it's a different kind of action. <laughs> yeah. The Little Vampire. The Little Vampire. The Little That's right. Vampire. I think there Vampire's is a movie. Kiss. I was oh, like, there's a movie called Vampire's Kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, interview with the vampire? The Twilight. No, no, no. I Twilight? thought Twilight? that was the one that Richard E. Grant was in. No, Richard E. Grant is in The Little Vampire. Little is Damn it. I, little or Little? I had to choose between the, the two of them. The Little, little uh, Vampire. The Little. The, he's the little one. Yeah, Not like, Richard E. Grant. He's so the dad. Do you, do you have, have a favorite action movie? Now I feel really Is there on something spot. Costa I, makes you watch all the time? No. Costa, is there something you maybe Are you still here? Are you an action yeah. fan, Costa? Costa, yeah, I feel like Costa's an action fan. Um... I always see. I'm just immediately going to uh, like all the Marvel movies. That's fair. Like those Civil count. War. Yeah. Civil War is up there that's for me. That's totally fair. There's some good. I guess those are action movies. Right. right? There's a lot of action in those movies. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Now you're really putting me on the spot. Uh, I, yeah. I don't don't feel no, on the spot because now I'm this wondering. Be, I'm like, this will be a continual exploration yeah. over the next I, many years. I felt like the movie had um, <laughs> a couple of dings. Uh, one of them being just how the the set pieces were filmed and shot. Uh, I think there was a little bit too much, um, clo too many close ups, too much shaky cam. I did see. This is a personal thing for me. I get motion sick very easily. Hmm. So there was. We came in right at like shaky cam, like high point, and I'm yeah. like, I might not be able to sit through this movie if it's the entire time. Um, but it wasn't. I, I like when you're using shaky cam and a lot of. Um, quick cuts to sort of um, inform the viewer of just how chaotic a scene might be. But I also mm. like it when you get just a static shot of what's happening between the characters who are doing their ballet, right? Their so action. you can make sense mm -hmm. of it. So you can, yeah, you yeah. actually like track it. Wait, I would I like, to, I would like to come. I would like to comment on that. We'll put a pin in that. Is, is Kill Bill an action movie? Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Oh, yes. Yeah. Kill Bill is my favorite action movie. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. One movie? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. 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 I mean, they were really I love both of those. Movies. I think movie. more one than two, one? but no. both. No, if that's why that I, I, you know what? I'll, I'm angry about it. I'll fight on that hill. I thought you were pissed um, at me <laughs> for I don't know, not knowing it or I'll die on that suggesting hill. That, it was that they would. Conceived as one movie, it is two movies. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was released as. Okay. it was viewed as. It's never been presented as one. It is two movies. I I'm sorry, I smacked him because they've never released the better whole one. Better him than me. Yeah. Uh, anyway, go ahead. Um, uh, I actually think this was an effective version of shaky cam. Okay. Hmm. Uh, because bad shaky cam is uh, born supremacy where it's a static shot, but then it's just whipping around oh. and like, you're not really tracking the motion. This one, it's a shaky cam, but the camera operator is also aware of the choreography mm -hmm. and he whips between bodies and underneath arms. Oh so, no, no, that's you're, that's no, cool. you're you're aware you're aware of the geographic location of everyone in the scene when yes. they're in an action I'm scene. I'm just saying so I like to break it up a little bit. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it was well done. I think it was overdone. And I think we could have used a couple of just whoop, you know, pull back so you can actually watch I think the first half of the movie is less 
the action in the first half of the movie is not nearly as good as the third act. Mm. Like, it's almost like the movie learned how to be a better action movie as mm. it was going. Just like the, the main character? Would you Basically. characterize it as, like, this style, like, overwhelming but not out of control? Whereas it is not, I don't think it was out of control. I don't think it was out of control at all. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Because, like, especially, like, it's I think, purposeful. It, I think yeah. it, kind of, it kind of culminates in the kitchen and then the um, mm. elevator. Yes. Which is both shaky cam sequences, but you're never confused about the uh, geographic location of everyone or the goals of right. the main oh, right. character. Right. Hmm. Right. Whereas bad shaky cam is just, it was Wait, going I'm on a train yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're realistically yeah. trying to make me feel like I'm on a train, but I can't I see what the fuck's happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not I on a train. On a the the I'm in the movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like shaky cam that puts you in the space without yeah. like giving you a sense of motion is just bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You want to be moving with it, not it's moving all around you. Yeah. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah. And I think that he pulls it off a lot in this, but there are some scenes where it's like focus. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It just, it just he does gets, like hazy focus. At it gets times tiring too. for my brain and eyes to be constantly bouncing around that much. Hmm. It's like, just give us a pullback for just a second. And we'll come um, back in. I thought oh, I liked it a lot. Yeah. I think it has a good chunk of like first director sh shagginess. Right. Everything but the kitchen sink. I feel like you threw it's a lot. everything. So the there movie's was a scene in the kitchen just now. The movie's a lot, but I like just not the sink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, they there's, left that out. There's two versions of this movie, and I don't know which one I liked more. I think they worked. They just needed to be like shaved a little. The one version is just the revenge plot. The other version is like the the mother story, the allegory, and then his like. His journey, yeah. his like spiritual journey, because there's a whole subplot of a spiritual journey hmm. throughout this whole movie. That's, that's like interesting. it's yeah. parallel with the main plot, but the movie doesn't integrate them very well all the time. Mm. I feel like the middle is a little rough. Mm. The beginning sets it all up really well and the end pays it off really well. But there's the whole middle half hour that's a little sleepy. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Agreed. But it's such it's a it, little it's long. so worth watching though. Yeah, I was really trimmed about fifteen off of this. Yeah, and um, the movie goes places where I was just like, "Oh, mm. okay. yeah, oh, we're doing that." Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. It, yeah, yeah. for sure. We'll yeah, get, we'll get into we'll spoilers. Get into spoilers. But yeah, I also this uh, we haven't. Uh, I, I probably wait until the spoilers. But there is a scene. It's like the most gnarly action beat that is used not for the end action scene, and I was really surprised by that. But I, we'll get to that in the spoilers. Which, uh, uh -huh. anything? Yes! Oh my God! Yes, it's that exactly. Yeah. Where I was like, that's nice. all I remember I like, about the action of that right movie. Now? Nice. But it wasn't like the the uh, the end the end battle. Yeah. Yeah. I think we like turned and looked at each other like. Do we need to pose on that again so we can get like a good uh, yes. chunk for the. Do the, it. In my memory. The thumbnail. The thumbnail. <laughs> Um, sorry, right, we're I'm all about the thumbnails, my dude. Should we and wait, move before on Before to... we get into spoilers, okay. there's something I think that I mentioned to you guys last week off the show. Um, so I want to bring it up to these guys too, out of there. And uh, this movie had some difficulties being oh, yes. made, yes, yes, right? Yes. As uh -huh. you know, all right? And uh, we were about to I give up. Know. And oh, you did not know. I did not know. Oh, then get ready for this. Okay, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> Prepare. Yeah. Here. yeah. There's multiple tiers of it, though. Are you going through the whole like timeline of it, or just the the end? I'm not sure how much I know. Okay, so it started with this was this is the directorial debut of Dev Patel. He also co-wrote it. They got it financed via Netflix, uh, shot during the pandemic. So oh, really? it was a, it's oh, a, oh, it's I a, no yeah, this movie's been out. This movie's been done for a while. So it was a bubble of about 500 people on an island in Indonesia that oh. all basically quarantined together to oh. make this movie because of the crazy nature of it. They pretty much just used everyone and anyone to do everything. Like one of the, one of the cinematographers, one of the DPs is a former stunt guy because it was like, uh, he was taking pictures and previous stuff and dev liked it. So he was mm. like, Hey, do you just want to be a camera operator? That's awesome. Yeah. Like shit like that, where That's everyone cool. was doing everything. They had no money. Mm -hmm. So like when somebody falls through a table in this movie, they, if they want another shot, they have to rebuild the table <laughs> and run it again. Yeah. Like it's, it was all like crazy yeah. years later when it's getting ready for post-production and release Netflix drops the movie. They're not going to release it for some reason or other. Mm. And um, 
Dev Patel pretty much assumed it was going to be a tax write off and not going to yeah. happen. Yeah. Bad girl. Maybe. Uh, yeah, something along those lines. Uh, and Jordan Peele heard about it, watched it, fucking loved it, and mm. brought his army of lawyers and mm. universal people over to put it in theaters. That's nice. awesome. Like, that's Love the it. short version of it. Yeah. Did you? I had heard, uh, but now I'm not sure the when this happened or the reasons that they would they had run out of money and so people who are not actors who yes. worked on the movie are in the movie mm. just like we need somebody to be this guy yeah. and say this or do this and so like the oh wow you know whatever accountant movies have accountants One on of, set i think uh, yeah. all the time <laughs> yeah yeah you're, you're absolutely right. Yeah, like during, okay. during so the course of it. That's what I wanted to be when I grew up. <laughs> an accountant. <laughs> That's the accountant. They all, they all, uh, they the all kind of like have an office. We're all together in this like quarantine. So if you you didn't have extra yeah. hands to pull in, right? One of the better examples is during this during the the training montage, the man with the drums. That is a very specific instrument, and he is one of the, apparently one of the best musicians for that in the world. So. He quarantined for two weeks, came out for three days of shooting, and they did all that stuff together. And this guy was just like, you know, a month of his life for three days of shooting to mm. be in like that one sequence mm. of the training. It was all everyone doing favors for each other. That's fun. It was I very, like very that. cool. I like that. Vibe. Um, awesome. Speaking of um, budget cuts, multiple shots were filmed with GoPros and iPhones. Yes. Which is kind of fun. And I did not know this about Dev Patel, that he actually started um, training in Taekwondo when he was 10. Really? And had a, I don't know what this means, a first Dan black belt in March 2006 at the age of 16. God, he was 16 in 2006. Hmm. He was born um, in 1990. Uh, oh, he suffered a number of injuries during the filming Soon of the enough, movie, yeah. which included a broken hand, yeah. two broken toes, a torn shoulder, and an eye infection. Someone farted on his pillow, I guess. Probably. Yeah. But yeah. Which um, he didn't realize would cause an eye infection. <laughs> it was just for fun. The film yeah. was originally meant to be released straight to streaming on Netflix until Jordan Peele saw the film and film and feeling it deserved a theatrical release instead, acquired it from Netflix for his banner, uh, which has a distribution deal with Universal Pictures. Ah, so yeah. I had seen on Twitter someone fucking Twitter, someone was like, Oh, they didn't want to put Netflix was uh cowardly and they didn't want to put it out because it had no. um uh politics in it. There are politics. There's in lots it. of politics in it. But no, it's not. It's not because of wokeness yeah. or anti wokeness. That's it's what just, they made it. Yeah. They bought the movie to distribute it, and yeah. it, it made its money back. Hmm. Go see this movie in theaters. It's so you good. Know, it's it's so know, good. Like yeah. real movies. Let's get into spoilers right meow. All right, Which Brian, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you ready? Yeah, this is how I want it. This is how you want to yeah, spoil yeah. for you. Yeah. Oh. Spoiler alert, Dane Z is in the chat saying, just joining, love the shirt, Noel. Thank you. Nice. I said that earlier. It's so yeah, good. It's Godzilla vs. Cool Kong shirt. is a cavity color shirt. Now, I wore it specifically what? because my nephew asked, um, he made a request Aww. that we review Godzilla vs. Kong, and I was like, honey, that movie is like five years old. Yeah. Uh, and he said, it's okay, just have your friends watch it and you could talk about it. Hey, what'd you, what'd you think so of I, Godzilla vs. Anyway. Kong? Uh, I think Godzilla vs. Kong is a masterpiece. It was great. There, you go. there we reviewed it. Look at Yay! us. Um, now so, go to bed. Uh, the thing that uh, the, do the thing, what thing? Put the knife the in your mouth. Of the knife. Oh, there's a sequence mouth, in this mouth. movie where, <laughs> <laughs> where he, you know, it, it at, at first it started to remind me of that horrible scene that has always stuck with me in um, Saving Private Ryan, oh, which no. is when two soldiers oh. are going at it and um, you know with violence Probably and. Violence. Um, with, with gusto, and, um, with gusto. Yeah. and the the knife is like slowly slow. yeah. being put Happen. into this yeah. dude's heart yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, while he's begging for his life and it's i just can't and he's i always see it and it's not the nazi it's right. the jewish uh army guy mm. that is in a protracted battle and loses yeah yeah yeah, yeah awful and, and yeah. it's against somebody who he let go earlier mm-hmm forgot about yeah that. like oh he 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 feels okay. bad for the guy and lets him live yeah and then this guy murders him slowly anyway hey. that's Rusty's. the scene that Great reminded movie. me of, feel it's good so it's i just rewatch it it's actually wonderful mm. um but i thought that was it was like that sort of thing was happening but then my man takes both of his hands and stops him from putting the knife into him so then he grabs it with his teeth and slides it in with his face in the throat. Did we in say the, it, was it was in, in the, the throat? throat. No. We didn't say it's that. So, very throat. important. So the Tough hand spot. got yeah. it, yeah. got it in position, and then, and then he had to get his mouth into. Yeah. I a, thought he was gonna headbutt it in. Yeah. And then he nope. grabbed it with his teeth and still slowly pushed it, it in, just, and then it, pulled. He just wanted to do it. It was slow. so yeah. memorable yeah. that I was yeah. amazed that that wasn't like how he killed the main bad guy. It was just a guy mm -hmm. in an elevator. Yeah. Um. But that's 
It kind of makes just me driving cool. an elevator. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was the poor <laughs> elevator <laughs> guy. So he was like, "What floor? <laughs> yeah. Why this? Heavy. I'll this tell movie? You floor. Why do you have that knife? <laughs> this movie is not like John Wick to me, uh, despite some of the action homages, I guess. Sure, sure. Um, because of the way it starts, uh, the middle section and that's basically it. The way it starts in the middle section, the parts that aren't just the revenge story, the idea of like his mom's telling him a story about Aramon, Arasu, Harsuman, the monkey man, the monkey. Yeah. The, well, yeah. The, yeah. The, the white monkey. They got um, glimpses of that. Like yeah. a legendary yeah, yeah. guy, or this is a real guy from the past. Uh, no. Oh, okay. so it, it's an allegory. Yeah. Like yeah. The monkey I got you. King. Mm-hmm. Okay, like an allegory. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but then it's brought back. So, you guys missed the beginning, which is fine. Like you could still follow Thanks. the movie. I just, I just. You could still follow the movie. That's how feel. But it's when fine. we get to when we get to the part <laughs> where he's literally on an acid trip to find himself, and he rips open his own chest. Oh, oh. wait, I wanted to say something about that too. That's from the story. Oh. Okay, that That's, makes a lot like, more he sense. He is now. going through the same steps and the same like journey as that allegory his his oh. mother taught him or yeah. like mm-hmm. told him, you know, before bed every Do night. Do you see what happens to his mother in the beginning of the movie? No. Okay, 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 so, okay, so we're still the, good. That was the yeah. slow On reveal. the way home from the movie, we were talking about it well, and going, oh, what we really like about it is that I don't know how much we missed in the beginning, but it felt like they were just releasing bits of information yes. whenever he would. And also, I love that he would have panic attacks. Yes, I love that and he they would, felt real. He's like doing his reconnaissance. Um, well, they, were, uh, and, they were all sexual violence panic attacks. Hmm. Oh, we missed right. a lot. All um, of them were when. Yeah. Something was yes. happening to him. Something a woman. was happening yeah. to him. Yeah. He, he witnessed his mother yep. get yes. violated and, oh and murdered. Yep. But, but, I, but I also that, love that. That I got. Yeah. The, the, Can I say something about the, yeah, man. the trippy scene? That was giving me vibes. And I know you two have seen this movie. I don't know if you've seen it. Mandy. Like, oh, when yes. it gets like really acid trippy for a yeah. minute, I was like, ooh, I like this vibe. Like, we're yeah. like acid trippy with yeah. him right now. I really like that. That's all I want to say. Yeah. I know. Like from, so Mandy's very good. The movie, <laughs> yeah. the movie, like the, when we talk about like film language and like yeah. three act structures, the movie is very clearly three acts. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So you've got like the first act ends with him getting shot off the roof and like falling in the water. And the second act is coming back to life and like being, being brought back to life. So the story at the beginning yeah, is, is, is uh, an incredibly hungry m- monkey uh, sees the best mango in the sk- like high up in the sky and like flies up there to get it and he eats it. It ends up being the sun, mm. and he you know the- is punished by the gods and sent back down to earth. Loses his power and he has to bring oh. it back. So like when he gets nursed back to health from all of those uh, women in the temple, it's you're literally seeing flashes of like the movie is so wildly on the nose, but it's still like paced pretty well. That yeah. it's not egregious. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I liked that it was like two tracks, but it still is a little heavy in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So it was it was the white monkey you said. Something like that. Yeah. That's why he bleached the mask. Yes. No, I know. Oh, okay. I, I know. thought we I were... was like, why did he do that? Oh, like, no, I was I knew like, that's why he bleached it because it was the white he monkey. Bleach his white mask. Like, he had yeah. a regular monkey mask, and then he bleached it, and he wore it for like. 30 minute. seconds. He and wears. I was like, why? What was the point of that? And like watching the trailer now, for this, I was like, oh, part. he puts on the mask and yeah. he wreaks vengeance on, on the, those that wronged him and his yeah. mother. Um, but Hanuman. then he wears the monkey mask, Hanuman. walks up to the building uh-huh. where there are two people guarding it and immediately takes it off it and starts fighting. It was a sick shot. It was a good one shot. It was, it was yeah, I, I Well, he wanted... spends a lot of the movie fighting in a monkey mask. I can that, fight in a monkey mask. That's that's oh. the mask that he wears when he's like an underground um, box like boxer. Fight is club. The him taking the monkey like he dies it white and mm-hmm. then he takes it off is him attaining spiritual yes. awareness. Right? Yes, I didn't even see the movie. But see the thing about it is, I was like, he's <laughs> got it for one really cool shot. And I did at the time. I was like, at the moment, I was just like, keep it on for a while because it's so yeah. dope. Yeah. yeah. But then I'm like, motherfucker, did all this work to learn the choreo and get in shape and fight? Yeah. Don't wear a mask. Oh, I, I would like to see this. Oh, you want to know this. He wants it's really to know it's him. Yeah, it's yeah. actually He's patelling all over the place. He's, yeah, yeah. He's, he devved it up no I'd do that too if it was Patel. me. I'd be like, yeah. no, yeah. I want everybody to know. <laughs> every Patel. It was, I think it was, a, I think it was, it was flawed, but it was like a really, really, really good first shot. Nice. Oh, yeah. As a director. Like, I, like he hit a triple in field. What is yeah. he, this is not, is he known for? That's not a home run. But it was a Slumdog Millionaire. In field triple. Oh, was he the main guy? Yeah. Maybe I you think want to so. go rewatch. Yes, yeah, that was a really Slumber. good movie. He's oh, also, also in so the live action Avatar: The Last Airbender from he was 2010. Zuko? He was Zuko. Yeah, I mean, I'd take whatever job too. 
<laughs> from what I hear. I never saw that movie, uh, but I heard it's not good. So is this Monkey King story, this is a, a real yeah, existing story. Mm-hmm. Cool. Hindu epic texts, uh, uh, the legend of Hanuman. Hmm. Yeah, the monkey god as a young child when he saw a shining golden sun and mistook it for a mango. I like that title. Yeah. Th- cool. th- uh, yeah, this was, uh, this was totally worth seeing. I was yeah. surprised, pleasantly surprised by um, a monastery full of trans women. Yeah. So, did you? It was it was introduced via news broadcast yeah. in the movie. Yeah, just yes. said it. Yeah. In the background, as yeah. you know. Yeah, I got so, that. so the main the the main evil villain plot is that a spiritual leader who is liked very well by the right wing party, a conservative, in, yeah, in yeah the conservative party in. Why am I blanking? Indonesia. What, no, what they country, had like what a, country is this in? India. Is it in India? It was originally to be filmed in India, so it would yeah. make sense that it was. Yeah, out that there. makes sense. Yeah, um, uh, is actually stealing land. Uh, he's making all these claims that there's a religious right to specific lands. Mm. Has the police and the military actually kick out and murder some of these people so he can build a giant complex? Mm. Those that decide to not want to get <laughs> displaced or murdered will work. To you know, clear mm-hmm. the lands and, and and work for him or become his mm-hmm. disciples, and those that do it's 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 all fucked up. This is what happened to his his parents. Yeah, mm. that um, I got. Where's I getting with this? Where's I going? With Which this? is kind of like the how the crow started. Uh, how the mm. trans women were introduced. Oh, trans women. Uh, in, yes. In um in yeah. in the news broadcast, it kind of tells you that um there has been a lot of violence against yes. trans people, and um there is a temple. Uh, that they are occupying because they were outsiders, mm-hmm. and it was, and you learned that it was a specific temple too, of a yeah. specific god that was of two genders of yes. two, of yeah. chaos she, and order. She explains that when he like first comes to after they save him. Yeah, so he he after the whole shaky cam, he gets scene. shot, all kinds of crazy shit, and th- you know all of these wonderful trans women uh, and men save him, and he trains and finds his meaning in a uh, in their monastery with him. Is he like already a fighter, but now he's getting really yes. good? Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. it's the difference between like raw like talent and just honing it for a purpose. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. That's the, that's the, what that part of the movie was cool getting at. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily specific skill training. Yeah. That, that's one of the things that I was just like, oh, he did a bunch more pushups because like the 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 montage mm-hmm. that uh, he has is mm-hmm. like him holding buckets, sure. him doing a, a body bag, uh-huh. and now he's an apps like he's an, an unkillable murderer. Have you? I've been doing that doing workout routine and it's yeah. been working great for me. Yeah. Gun? Oh shoot. Uh, Alice, yeah. Alice, Alice guns. guns over here. Oh my god. These. Uh, and you bought a monkey mask. She's yeah. been yeah. punching rice to drum I've been beats for weeks now. Noel's been playing the drums for me. That's how he knows. <laughs> was doing it. It's amazing. Um, yeah, it was a it was a really fun subplot, and yeah. they they do introduce the fact that like you know, uh, she talks like the spiritual leader in the movie or the his spiritual leader in the movie. This this uh, this trans priestess. Um, she talks about how their people used to be warriors and puts him on an acid trip and, oh, and remember forgot. where you come from. That's, That's where it makes and he sense now. In the whole nine. Yeah. I totally. I don't know if I. If I nodded off for a minute but like i forgot that they were warrior women yeah um and so when he sees the note remember who you were he like he leaves it for them after he goes back to the underground fight club and ah. he wins a bunch and puts a yeah. bunch of money on himself and yeah, gives so they, them all the money oh, okay. so yeah. after his crazy Live training somewhere. so he's really good yeah. now yeah. and uh yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, and then he like, leaves them a note. Mean? Remember, remember who you were. Because she, are, like, cause she says it to him also. Yes, yeah. like I got that it was a reference back, but yeah. I was like, but, but who now were they? I think like, warriors. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what, what we were thinking. Like, what, and, what were they? And they show up in the third act and rip some throats out. Oh, oh yeah. so yeah. good, very violent. Like, like in Roadhouse, like you talked about last week. Like, oh. in, like in the original Roadhouse. Oh, they doesn't rip any throats in the new one. There are no throats ripped in the new Roadhouse. Sounds woke. It is woke. Woke house. Woke house. Woke house. Road woke. <laughs> yeah. Um but yeah this this was a blast. I nice. kind of want to see it again. Yeah. Uh yeah, this I need to see the, the beginning. Whole, the whole thing yeah. this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go and just yeah. watch the first 10 minutes and leave. Cool. I did yeah. that with uh 
uh what was it uh 12 monkeys the little vampire no <laughs> we it was vampire's kiss <laughs> Wait, those my favorite Clark. action movie the, the little vampire kiss what yeah the little vampires just little kisses i did like a little is it a little vampire, <laughs> little vampire, kiss? little vampire <laughs> kissing you right just like a little guy like a little it's mouse-sized both. vampire and little pecs yeah well, <laughs> mouse-sized vampire it's the sequel pecs. it's called oh, the littlest <laughs> the littlest vampire kiss so we're making this movie they're all yeah. richard yeah. e grant pocket, <laughs> va- <laughs> pocket vampire he keeps kissing himself. <laughs> uh, what? What was I talking about? I don't know. Oh, you, you left 12 Monkeys? Oh, you left no, 12 no, no. Monkeys. You know, now that I'm telling it, no, it's one of my favorite movies. It's, it's a so wonderful good. movie. And we were watching another movie in the first stadium seating theater I'd ever been in. And uh, so was, which aught year was this? Was it like 94? Oh, yeah. This was in the 1990s. It's um, the 19th century. The 20th century. 20th century. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 19th century. Oh yeah. no, that's something that like, the kids are doing was now. Like, what was it like in the 1900s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah, it was like this: uh, stadium seating. Yeah. <laughs> and we, uh, it was in San Diego, and I, my mind was blown by this theater. And we saw Jumanji, and then at the end of it, we're like, "Let's go see the end of Twelve Monkeys again." <laughs> Because <laughs> oh, we want to nice. see what's happening now. Nice. Now that I remember um, the story, yeah. J- uh, last week on Saturday Night Live, uh, Kristen Wiig was the host. Oh yeah, yeah. And there was a Jumanji sketch, and it was amazing. I oh, saw awesome. the Jumanji sketch. It awesome. was very. Weren't they Absolutely. trying to play Ticket to Riot or something? They were just playing yeah. a board game, and she refuses. Like, to, you're trying concept, to Jumanji me. The concept is that she does not play board games to <laughs> prevent being Jumanji. <laughs> That's a good idea. It's a and good way to go about it. Yeah. yeah. Cute. Um, very good. Hey, Dylan. You seem, you seem hey. excited about this movie. Have you seen it? Are you planning to see it? Uh, I definitely plan to see it. Yeah, oh, we ruined, ruined it for you. No, 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 no. It's still, it's still like unruinable. I, yeah. Well, no, it's still like there's still. I mean, I a lot that I want to know and see about the movie. Like, I feel like <clears throat> I just know a little, very little bit about. Yeah, it. Yeah, I don't feel as though. I yeah. had too much. You guys didn't like, go too hard on the spoilers. No, we're just yeah. like, all right, plot point A, plot point B, plot point C. Yeah. You know? yeah. And like, is similar to this ancient and often retold tale. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. like, there's nothing wildly original about this right. movie. It's just done very well. Yeah. yeah. Also, with that. the John Wick comparison, there is a puppy. Oh. That, yep. There's a puppy. There's a puppy that. Oh, the puppy doesn't pu- die. Puppy's okay. Oh, all right. Fair. I mean, oh, we don't. Okay. Okay. The puppy doesn't die on screen. That's true. We okay. don't. That's true. Yeah, I, that's true. We don't know. The puppy's fine. Yeah. We just don't know. He dies of old age. Flash off forward screen. to thirty years later. You got to assume. Yeah. <laughs> He's that an immortal pu- puppy. That puppy. That's finished. awesome. Like the Monkey King. The, the Monkey King's did. puppy. Um, he becomes a little vampire and he lives forever. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> puppy vampires. Um, Neg, what are we talking about next week, JD? Oh, is it the show that drops Fallout? Not Fallout Boy from Millhouse. I saw them in concert like two weeks ago. They were great. Me too. That's cool. You're in Albany? Madison Square Garden. Oh, okay. I saw them in Albany. I was like, we're in the same place. <laughs> huh? huh? I wondered if you saw each other from the different the shows. wonderful show. Did he do um, the Spidey and his amazing friends? No, he didn't oh, do that Oh, that's us. fun. He did it. I was that's hoping. I heard that he did that. I was hoping he did it. No, he didn't. So yeah, next week we're going to be talking about Fallout, the TV show that drops, I guess, tonight, right? Yeah, it drops tonight. Yeah. It's actually probably live right now. <laughs> Uh, and nine central. I have yeah, no was, experience with Fallout. Never played it. No, me I neither. never played it. Like many video Coast games, I've often it? been like, "That story looks cool," but yeah, that's I why it, I always watched I my play. brother play video games. That's cool. Yeah, the story. Or he, yeah. like, I watched playthroughs, and then he was he gave yeah. me his Xbox 360 way back in the day, and was like, "Here's all the Batman Arkham games. You're gonna love them." Ooh. I'm so bad at them, I can't oh. get through the story. There's, so I just like, had to watch him play them like eventually. Uh, there's and, a, there's yeah. like so, there's all kinds of cutscene clips on YouTube. Where oh, I've watched cool. playthroughs yeah. fully on YouTube. Movie. Like oh, I know no, everything that happens in the games. Playthroughs, just the cutscenes edited together. It's just a movie. I always felt like in those games where you're like your Batman or your Spider Man, and you just cannot get past the first level and you're like spider-man is not this bad at being I'm spider-man so Spider-Man is really good at <laughs> I it play easy. <laughs> i play easy and the goons like can't even see me they're like they're like where is he and like i'm sitting right in front of him and they still kill me <laughs> the npc dialogue yeah. like, when the, when the NPC dialogue's on point. we're like this close to him <laughs> like i'm so bad at hiding it's i'm terrible did you do you feel like at that point your character's being gaslit a little bit. <laughs> like, a little bit. Oh, no. I can't find I don't know where he is. I hope That's he doesn't break my arms. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Join us next week uh, when we talk about Fallout. But then also you can, on iTunes and uh, YouTube, starting tomorrow morning, we're going to have the next episode of Fresh, Fresh Floppies. Floppies. Nice. Where we talk about spoiler-free reviews of the comic books that are on shelves 
That's cool. Right, right now. now. No, that shirt. <laughs> so we got Godzilla and Kong, and at the top it says, one will fall. And I've been picturing, like, one man falling out of one of the buildings in the back. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, no! Throughout the course of the movie, both of them fell a lot. I was going to say. Uh, so one plus fell. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Both of them. A both lot of, of them, falling. There was a lot of, like, big banana peels the whole movie. I understand. <laughs> That's pretty fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with us, and we'll talk at you later. You do do. We did it. Yay. Young John!